hello 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 thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video it is tabitha here and i'm bringing you guys a brand new video this is going to be a book review from a book i got from the dollar tree it's called cali boys by kelly london normally 9.95 you guys of course only a dollar at the dollar tree so there are two main characters the first character is cassie maddox now cassie has everything beauty brains and confidence to spare fresh off the new york a-list because she's a model she knows what she wants brent romero romero and carson three extremely fine must-have boys now brent is her boyfriend that lives in new york let's see and she isn't about to choose between them until she meets Diggs. he's a hot property and he doesn't like to share well cassidy finally has to give up the spotlight and then there's jacoby swanson is a late bloomer with a major crush on two guys there's shuby from her old neighborhood now jacoby has moved from kind of like the hood into like the nicer a nicer area so there's Shuby from the old neighborhood, the guy she can't let go of and seemingly can't have. And then there's Malone, who is the guy next door who's got a serious case of the perfects, perfectly popular, perfectly smart, and perfectly rich. Determined to break out of her shell and into the heart of the guy who's right for her, Jacoby turns to Cassie for beauty and boy tips. But when Jacoby finally captures the right one's attention, she'll have to figure out whether he's for real, along with everything else in La La Land. So okay guys so i thought it would be cool to go over the discussion questions there is a reading group guide right in the back of the book and there's only like 10 questions you guys so if you guys have read this book maybe you guys can chime in or even if you haven't read it can i give your thoughts about each question too as i go over them okay so the first question is jacoby's hormones cause physical changes that got in the way of her recognizing her true identity she didn't see herself as beautiful talented or smart Yet, boys found her attractive. She was a filmmaker on the rise, and she traded stocks. Do you think a girl's physical changes during adolescence can affect her, identi her identity and self-worth? Why or why not? So, Jacoby was a late bloomer. So, she wasn't really, like, super developed. She was late, kind of a late bloomer when, he, when it came to her period. I think she was, like, 15, 15 or 16 years old and, ha and had not gotten her period yet. So, but from reading the book, this girl was super smart she would trade stocks on the stock market with her dad she made her dad a lot of money and then she wanted to be a filmmaker but she wasn't the type of girl that was into like makeup or necessarily her hair or her clothes she wasn't that type of girl she was more into her smarts i guess you could say and the crazy thing is she wasn't the greatest student in the world but she was smart when it came to stocks and she was smart when it came to her filmmaking so i definitely think your self-identity can play a huge role on how you feel about yourself because even the fact that she didn't think she was the prettiest girl in the world or she didn't think she or she thinks she needed to be super developed you know to get this the attention of this boy Shuby who honestly didn't deserve her anyway but self-identity that definitely can play a role I can kind of relate to her because when I was younger I was super skinny I was like 100 pounds and I did, didn't necessarily want a boy's attention but I just felt okay I'm 13 14 15 I'm in high school now where's my boobies at where's my booty at you know I I wanted more weight and it wasn't necessary because I really wasn't in a boys in high school I really just wanted to you know kind of feel comfortable about myself and so yeah I can definitely relate to her in that sense but self-identity definitely can play a huge role when you're growing up okay guys question two Jacoby Jacoby like a lot of girls was attracted to the bad guy what do you believe some girls like bad boys instead of guys that are good for them I think they like a little bit of the rush of it um, me personally being 32 years old and kind of seeing these young girls and sometimes even grown women fall for the bad the bad guy but they're always complaining about the bad guy so it's interesting that they want someone who probably isn't really ain't no good you know and the crazy thing is you can't necessarily blame like oh they don't have a father figure because in Jacoby's case she has a mother and a father in the household and she adores her father so that is pretty much ruled out but a lot of times with with girls that like like the bad guys I think it's kind of more of like the rush you know not necessarily um really anything else not anything else that I can think of what about you guys you can guys can chime in on that question as well question three Jacoby and Cassidy both stayed all night at a boy's house were they wrong to do so discuss the potential dangers Cassidy's case now Cassidy is a girl from who moved from New York to California now she went out with this guy Carson and he's basically like a bad boy so to speak and I think she went with a part uh I think she went with him to a party and when she woke up she didn't know where she was at 
so he ended when it all when it was all said and done he ended up taking her to his mother's house because she ended up getting food poisoning so she had on a robe and and she she didn't know where the heck she was at so when she woke up you know his mom came in and said hey i'm his mom let me get you something to eat you know you know how i know how my son is he left he just you know he just left her there which that is a potential danger because first of all when you're 15 years old you ain't got no business running the streets and the only reason she was out that night is because her parents were out of town i'm sorry but i'm not leaving my teenager at home while i go out of town that's just not happening i don't it's just just no it's just it's too many dangers in that and she seems like she's a pretty smart girl but she's kind of like a player like she's never been sexually active but she likes talking to multiple guys at a time even though she claims she had a boyfriend back in new york so in her instance it definitely wasn't safe because if she got food poisoned and passed out obviously if you woke up and don't even know where you are that boy could have did anything to you and you probably wouldn't have even known what if he would have slipped something in your food or your drink so that cassidy no you ain't a real person but that was not smart on her part at all Colby's case she stayed a night at a boy's house first of all she tricked her parents and all of that but she went to her old neighborhood Shuby. Shuby is from the old neighborhood and they did flash mobs so she would record the flash mobs for him and she also had a best friend back in the neighborhood too come to find out her best friend slept with Shuby and she was pregnant mind you I don't know how old Shuby is but and he, he's probably around the same age if they're all like besties but her best friend slept with Shuby, the guy that she really likes, and she ended up pregnant. So when she went to meet Shuby to film the flash mob, she saw everything. So Malone, who was her next door neighbor, he, he's the one that drove her to Shuby's house. And she came outside crying and he was like, okay, let me, you know, you can stay at my house. So because she ended up tricking her dad because her mom and her older brother Diggs they went to like this beach house party for the weekend so the dad was going to stay at home for work so she claimed like she was so sick and she and she actually was acting like she was on her period so that she can go to a friend's house for the weekend you know so because her dad was like I'm not dealing with period stuff call me when you get there that type of thing so Malone ended up taking her back to his house and she ended up in Malone's sister, their friend. She's Jacoby and her are friends. So she ended up staying in her room. But that's still a danger too because at 15 years old, those hormones are racing. Even though she might not necessarily have been thinking about having sex or whatever, you never know what can happen with a boy and a girl all alone. That's question number four. Jacoby and Cassidy both lied to their parents all in the name of love. Why is this wrong? First of all, it ain't, hey, it ain't. It doesn't have anything to do with love you're 15 years old what do you know about love first of all cassidy she's just a hot tail even though she has not had sex yet you're 15 years old so you you got a so-called boyfriend in new york you got this other guy that you like digs you got this other guy named carson who you kind of just use him because he's got a car and he can you know you know take you around and then she had this other guy that she was talking to you're 15 years old juggling all these dudes you lying to your parents also you can sneak out and hang with these dudes that you don't even know that you don't even know not safe not cool you just don't do stuff like that Kobe, you know she's had a crush on um shuby for since they were kids they, they've grown up together but shuby it's it's obvious that he was just using her to film his flash mobs let's just keep it real shuby didn't like her like that he did kiss her on the lips and but i think he was just trying to play into that that boy know that she liked him and he was just using her for her camera basically so but you know and i don't know a lot of you guys are bible readers but the bible talks about lying you don't lie even a little white lie can turn into a larger lie especially to your parents like she lied to her dad she was closer to her dad than she was her mom so to lie to your your dad you just you don't do that you don't do that okay guys question number five cassie was a self-proclaimed player who refused to be true to one guy do you think her being a player had a positive or negative effect on her reputation? Does a girl's disloyalty to boys reflect her ability to be loyal to others? And but yeah, I don't necessarily necessarily think it's like I said. Girls will have their besties; they'll do anything for them. They'll beat up somebody for their best friend. They'll do anything. So and then she ended up meeting Cassidy. Ended up meeting Jacoby, and she helped Jacoby out a lot too. She didn't. It wasn't like she was like ill like you're not a model you're not this you're not that i don't like you she was actually pretty cool to jacoby so yeah question number six rate your loyalty 
Cassie refused to be tied down to one guy and betrayed every boy she claimed as her own, Romero, whom she didn't really like as a boyfriend, but misled him to think so, Carson and Brent. Yet she felt betrayed by Faith for her wrongdoing. Is there a difference between Cassidy's disloyalty and Faith's? Why or why not? So Faith is her friend. So Faith was going back to New York for a model gig that Cassidy got for her. So when Cassidy, when Cassidy moved to California, she hadn't heard from her boyfriend Brent at all. So what happened was, y'all, when her best friend Faith went back to New York, she was basically telling... Her boyfriend Brent about Cassie. Oh, she's sleeping around with all these dudes. Yada yada yada. This and that. Then she went into in Brent's phone and put Cass blocked Cassidy's number. And then when she finally came back to California, she had the exact same haircut like Cassidy. She was dressed like Cassie. She had the same phone case as Cassidy. So she ended up finding out how dirty her her friend really is. But kind of piggybacking off of that last question, I guess when it comes to it's kind of like, again, what the Bible saying, you do, it's kind of like the Bible saying, you treat others the way you want to be treated. You don't want anyone to be disloyal to you. So don't be disloyal to anybody else. Like you're running around here with all these boys, tell them all these lies. They're thinking that you like them and this, this, and that, but it's not really that. And then you're so upset and hurt that your best friend kind of played you. So, you know what I mean? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Boom. Question number seven. Some say once a cheat, always a cheat. Do you think that Cassidy would have cheated on Diggs? The crazy thing is, I don't think that she would have. Out of all those boys that she was talking to, it seems like she was trying to get... It seemed like she liked Diggs the most, but it kind of seemed like she was using the other boy to make Diggs jealous and all of that. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's touchy. If I was Diggs, I really would have been messing with her like that because it's like... You're kind of stringing all these other guys along. Who's, who's to say that you're not going to do the same to me? And again, that's your reputation. If your reputation is known to be a 15-year-old girl that's juggling multiple guys, you might not be sleeping with them. But I think in this day and age, people are going to assume that. So just, yeah, you too young to be doing all that anyway. Like, sit down. Yummy is Cassidy's stepsister. So, of course, Cassidy was talking about Yummy's weight because she was a plus size. And then Yummy was talking about, oh, she was so skinny. So the question is, how do you handle others' differences? Are you open and accepting or judgmental? So as far as the weight situation, like I know people, I'm friends with people of all different shapes and sizes. I'm not exactly skinny mini myself, so I can't be talking about anybody. But the good thing is when you get, I guess, I guess maturity comes at different ages for everyone. Just because you're in your 30s doesn't mean you're mature. So for me personally, I'm not going to judge somebody off of, Oh, you're big, so I don't want to be around you. I don't like you. I don't want to hang out with you. Like that's not that's not what it is. Cause I know big people. I know small people. I know people in between. So I think I was on question number nine. Do you think Yummy's meanness and bullying ways were a reflection of how she felt about herself? Now, Yummy was obviously plus size, and she kind of fit like kind of like the stereotypical role they try to put on plus size people. Every time they talked about it in the book, she was always eating something. Obviously, she was kind of like the bully of the neighborhood. Don't mess with her. You're going to get beat down. That type of situation. So I definitely think she was kind of putting the guard up. Oh, you're not about to talk about me. I'm, I'm not going to get you to talk about me because if you open your mouth and say something, I'm going to pop you in it. So that's what I think. So definitely, she might have of course felt insecure about her size because at the end of the book now yummy and cassidy again they were stepsisters they didn't like each other they didn't want no stepsister all that but yummy was the one that put her up on game about her best friend faith so she's like no nah, faith no 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 you don't know nothing about faith but when she finally found out she had to go humble herself apologize apologize to yummy and eventually her her and yummy became cool at the end of the book she ended up um kind of giving yummy a little makeover you know she did her she did her hair help her pick out some new clothes and stuff like that okay guys last question so jacoby's best friend i don't know how to pronounce her name we're just gonna call her k pull the ultimate no-no she took shuby the boy that jacoby wanted and became a teen pregnancy pregnancy excuse me statistic other than abstinence, the guaranteed way to prevent pregnancy, are there other measures a girl can take to prevent such an awful thing happening? Please discuss. Let's just get one thing one thing straight. Shuby was not Jacoby's boyfriend, man, or anything like that. 
So she didn't take Shuby. But what she did, she did do the ultimate no-no. If you know your best friend that you've known all your life, like someone, why would you go have sex with them? So it's funny that people think that because you have unprotected sex that pregnancy is the only thing that can happen. First of all, you can also catch a sexually transmitted disease. Like, it seems like whenever someone says, oh, she had unprotected sex, that's all I think about. You can get a girl pregnant. No, you can also get the clap. Well, first of all, I don't know if she was even thinking about having sex prior to. Um, obviously, she's not because obviously, you, I believe you, if you want to get on the pill, you have to go with your mom and she's underage. So she was probably wasn't going to do that. But you couldn't have said, hey, shoot me. You want to throw a condom on? Can I go get one for myself? Like... You just don't do that. One thing, this book was not too bad. Like, there wasn't any type of, again, these are teenagers. And yeah, one of the teenagers got pregnant. But it, they didn't really, this book is not, not like one of those kind of like um, erotica type of books, if you will. That That's not what this is. So, I don't even think they show like, yeah, they, it was like a kiss between Jacoby and Shuby. But that was pretty much it. Um, Malone, who was Jacoby's next door neighbor, he kind of had a thing for, you know, he was kind of flirting with her. But again, it wasn't, this book wasn't anything like, oh my God, it's super ratchet. I can't read this no more. But all in all, you guys, this was a pretty decent book. The book kind of got like right to it, which is, I like books like that. I don't like books that drag on and on forever. So I would definitely recommend this. I think it's a pretty decent read on a scale of one to five. I would give it a four simply because I don't like how it ended like I don't know if it's gonna be if there's a part two to this book or or an all but I just didn't like how it ended I kind of ended like it ended flat which I did not like but if you guys see this book at the Dollar Tree I think it's definitely worth a dollar um, this book is $9.95 would if I would have saw this in the store would I have paid $9.99 to be honest with you I wouldn't have I so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys comment about what you think about the questions and, and the characters. You might not have read the book, but you can, from what I said, you guys might be able to give your opinions as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye.